Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna go through all the supplies that I bought last week. I did spend a thousand dollars or more on supplies to get ready for these next few weeks and the next month because for the first time I have a pop-up almost every single weekend next month. So I'm pretty much booked for the whole month and it's gonna be a really busy month. And so I just wanted to prepare as much as I could ahead of time. So I just bought a bunch of items. And so today I'm just gonna show you what I got and basically what I sell on my shop and what really works for me and my popular items and stuff. Cause I feel like maybe if you need some inspo or you're feeling stuck on ideas then this can help you. And yeah, so let's go through everything that I bought. So I just wanted to start off with the item that is doing really well on my shop right now and they are the car diffusers. So they are like, I'll show you. So they're basically little, they're basically like little air fresheners that you can hang on your rear view mirror and they'll last for more than a month. Um, well they should last for more than a month. Um, I have a bunch of different scents and these always do super well at my pop-ups and then I sell, I've sold a lot on my Etsy shop as well um, and then I sell them for $10. I buy the containers from Amazon which I will link below. They come empty without anything in them and no sign. We put these signs on and we fill them with dried flowers and gold flakes to make it look cute. So somebody asked me what I fill them with and I also bought this um, 80 ounce jug of Reed diffuser base. I used to get the 16 ounce base, which was this size, but now that I'm making a lot more, I just decided to save a little money and get the bigger version. But yeah, I'll fill it with the Reed diffuser base and then fragrance oil. So I'll put a third of fragrance oil inside and then the rest Reed diffuser base, and that will just help it soak through the wood cap so it is like an air freshener that you just add to your car and it's a cute little accessory so everybody's been loving these so yeah as you can see I just do different colors for different fragrances and they come out super cute I also get my dried flowers from um, Amazon but if you have a garden or something and you have or you have flowers that are dead, <laughs> then you can just dry them and you can add those. I also get the gold flakes from Amazon too, so I will also link that. They are my favorite product to sell and they are the easiest. They're easier to make than candles, but I love how they last so long and they make your car smell good and look cute too. So this is what they look like when they're empty with nothing in them. And they come with these little funnels inside the box that help you put the fragrance oil in. So the next item that I bought that I was running out of are my business cards. This is the first time that I bought this much. Usually I only get one box, which is 250 or something and so this time I bought 500 um, I run out of them fast since I bring them to pop-ups I put them on display I add one to every single order that I get that I do and so yeah they run out fast so I just decided to get more plus when you buy more um, you save a little more so these are my business cards I get them printed on Avery I usually print everything I do on Avery at home, but for my business cards, I get them printed because I feel like they turn out much better when they do it instead of me doing it at home. I have the candle care instructions on the back. So yeah. Okay, so I did get more wax clamshells for my wax melts. These do really well because people do like having a flameless option. Some people don't like to sit around and watch over their candle, which is understandable because you're not supposed to leave your candle in attendance. So sometimes you just want to have a flameless option and wax melts are good for that because they last really long. And I feel like sometimes they smell stronger than my candles. Yeah, these do really well. 
on my shop too. This is what it looks like when I make them. And you just break them up into cubes and put it in an, you can put it in, a, in an electric wax melter. Um, yeah, and uh, I always make sure to also get the wax melt warning labels for them too, to put on those, because those also need warning labels. These I get from Candle Science. Um, and then they're also easy to make because you don't have to put a wick. You just pour the wax inside and boom, it's done. So I used to get my clamshells from Candle Science, but I found these on Amazon and I like them much more because they seem like they are more sturdy and I like that the quali quality feels harder than the plastic that Candle Science has. So yeah, Amazon. I get these from Amazon. I think this is a 50 pack. This is a 50 pack. And I think, I think that it's cheaper, also cheaper than, than Candle Science. And the next item I bought was a 45 pound box of 464 Golden Soy Wax from Candle Science. This is the wax that I use nowadays. I used to use Soy 10 from Cal Candle Supply and combine it with 464 wax, but Soy 10 has just been so hard to get, so I haven't even tried to purchase it in a while, so I've just been using 464 wax. Um, and it's been working out for me. I haven't had problems with it like I did before. So yeah, this, this wax comes in flakes. It's easy to work with. The Soy 10 came in um, slabs, so I always had to cut those up. So this is much easier to work with. So yeah. Um, since I've been making a lot more candles lately, I have run out of these boxes quicker than I have before. I usually run out in about a week. So I'm trying to stock up more on wax. I have another box over there. That's my main corner that I keep them in <laughs> because it's easy to transfer it from there to in the pot. But yeah, 464 wax. My next items I got that I absolutely needed were these gold tins. I've been using these a lot. I used to use silver tins from Candle Science. I decided to switch over to gold tins because I, I don't know, I've just been liking that look better. Um, I used to get my gold tins from Cal Candle Supply, but I found this option on Amazon. It, they're basically the same size and the same look. The lids are just a little bit different and these lids are a little bit looser fitting than the Cal Candle Supply ones, but they work for me and I like, I still have, like how they look and I like that I can get them faster through Amazon. Um, but yeah, these come in 24 pack boxes and I bought a few of them. I bought one, two, I think I got four. Um, that's definitely not going to be enough for all the pop-ups that I'm doing, but I just wanted to start off with that. If you haven't seen what they look like on my shop, this is basically what they look like after they're made. I use a craft label on them. I've always used craft labels. And I, got the, I get those from Avery and with the wick warning label on the bottom. And then, yeah, these hold uh, six ounces. They're eight ounce containers, but they hold six ounces of wax. So that's what I put on the label. And I know people are going to ask, so I use Eco 10 wicks with these candles. Um, I get those from Candle Science. I bought these a long time ago, but I have this huge box of Eco 10 wicks. They come with a thousand. So yeah. So these are labels, more labels I got from Avery. I use these ones for my 16 ounce candles right there. So I made these citronella candles in the 16 ounce a few days ago. So this is perfect timing to show you Oops. Me labeling them. Um, so 
if anybody is wondering, I get these uh, 16 ounce amber jars from bottlestore.com. I'll link it below like I always do. Um, and then on the inside, I use two Eco 6 wicks from Candle Science. So these are examples of the labels that I just got. This is how they look. So these next items I got are from the Flaming Candle. These I'm going to be experimenting with. So I'm Filipino and I wanted to make some sort of Filipino scented themed candles. Okay, so I had a few ideas of scents I wanted to do for the Filipino line. <laughs> um, I wanted to do an ube scent, so I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't even know if it's similar, but I got a sweet potato and brown sugar scent that I want to test. Honestly, that might work. Oh my god. <laughs> and then I figured I would mix it with a vanilla or something. And then I want to do like an islandy scent of some sort. I'll probably get that from Candle Science. And the next scent I wanted to try out was a dessert called Turon. Um, so it is a plantain dessert. It's basically an egg roll but with plantain inside. <laughs> and it's one of my favorite desserts. I love it. And I thought that I would try to mix banana nut bread with salted caramel because it is kind of a caramelly taste because it gets caramelized when you fry it. So I wanted to try that. I don't know if it'll work, but I just wanted to play around with that. So I got three of these boxes of gift bags for my future pop-ups. I also get these from Amazon. Are you seeing a pattern? I basically get almost everything from Amazon if I can. Um, these come with a hundred in each box. So this is how big they are. The dimensions are on here, but they are eight by 4.75. Just got more goodies. And the last boxes that are part of our $1,000 order are these, and they just actually got here a bit ago, but these are from Candle Science. I got these mason jars. These are the eight ounce jars that are label ready. I've accidentally bought the other kinds that care, that, um, the other kind of mason jars that Candle Science carries that are not label ready. So these ones have the smooth side that you could put the labels on, which is why it's called label ready. But the other ones, they say mason on here and on all the sides. So you can't really put a label on it, otherwise it'll go over that and be bumpy. So yeah, these ones are much better. These are eight ounce jars, but they hold a little more than eight ounces of wax. So I put 8.8 .8 on the um, labels. And for these, I use CD12 wicks. And yeah, so for those, I got seven of these 12 packs. And then the other box had these four ounce jelly jars. I got um, five of these 12 packs. So they're the little four ounce jelly jars that hold three ounces. And oh! What I like about using the jelly jars and the mason jars is that they they both use the same lid, so I always get the um, rustic threaded lids that are this color, or I get gold. I have different options over there, but this is part of the pack you order too. The lids are sold separately, so yeah. I got a few of those bags. They have 12 in them each, also from Candlestick. For the four ounce jelly jars, I use CD8 wicks. Okay, so this is the craziness happening now after unboxing everything and showing you guys what I got for $8,000. So yeah, I'm just going to organize, oh, I'm just gonna organize this mess because over the next few days, I'm just going to be making as many candles and diffusers as I can and packing orders. So I just need to clean this mess up. All right, so I got everything put away. Put the fragrance oils up there. These are all the containers. I put the lids in here. But I have more lids 
hidden away in here in that little corner. Here are my reed diffuser base jugs and then more containers here because they all couldn't fit right there. I have my business cards here and then I put the diffusers up here because my mom's going to work on them tomorrow. And then more diffusers over here, extra ones that we haven't marked yet. And the wax is still on the stool because I still have to finish up this wax and then I will put that right here when this is done. And what else? Whew, out of breath. That is all for today. My hair looks crazy because I am hot and tired. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Ooh. Yeah, we're just gonna end it here. Thanks for watching. Bye.